He was literally like sending texts and shit like, where's the what? fucking platform? Fuck America first. Like, I think it was pretty well justified. Good question. Where is the fucking platform? Fuck America first. Uh, the platform's up. Like, <laughs> Cozy. Yeah. 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 yeah, and who, ru who runs it, Beardson? Who runs that uh, platform? Nick. Who runs the platform, Beardson? <laughs> Nick. Yeah, Nick. Who? Nick. Who runs Nick. the platform, Beardson? We uh, keep Nick. answering the question. Who is the Jew? Who is the Jew who also runs the InfoWars platform and also happens to run Cozy TV's platform, Beardson? What's his name? Would you just answer it? Would what are you, you, answer what are you for talking about? I have answer. no idea. No, Beardson, about, Beardson knows who I'm talking about. No, I don't. I don't. Well, I don't, man. Well, you're a fucking me. idiot then if you don't. I guess you know something that I don't as a streamer. Well, who does yeah, you know? like <laughs> wait, wait, are, are you just like actually reading Kiwi Farms and taking all that to be real? Like, do, do you believe that like we <laughs> siphon money off to Nick from our streams and like all this stuff? This is why you should have just answered it, Rambo. Just tell us. Never, never it. made that, uh, never made that insinuation. But uh, both uh, Cozy TV and Infowars.com is owned by the same Jew. Beardson, tell us the Ooh. name of the Jew. Who's the Jew? Bro, I, I have no idea what you're talking about, man. Who signed your check? Name, name, name the Jew. Please, please do name <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Donators. <laughs> like, what are you fucking talking yeah, about? Yeah, Beardson, who signs the $20,000 a month We already, already, know. A month we already know about you taking money from Cozy Peter TV. Steele, but who's the other Jew? Come on. Michael Zimmerman. Why, why couldn't you say that name? Well, you didn't know. I have, I have you didn't no know idea that Michael is, Zimmerman man. owns Cozy TV and owns Infowars.com? You didn't know that. No, I have no you, idea what you're, you're talking about. Yeah, your perfect little your perfect little leader didn't fucking fill you in on that little aspect, huh? <laughs> no, I guess not. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, congratulations. Cozy TV is owned by Michael Zimmerman, the same guy who owns Infowards.com. Gotcha. Great. You well, are completely and utterly owned by Jews. Peter Thiel mm. fucking Peter Thiel fucking siphons bucks into little Nicky's pockets, and uh Michael Zinnerman owns your fucking as your little fucking streaming site where all you homos hang Shucks. out and you're totally not gay. Shucks. It's well, what's, his, what's his history though? Like, uh, what, like I'm genuinely you guys curious. stream gay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys talk to other men fucking gay. <laughs> yeah. Nice try homo. How, how's that glass house? Does it have a single glass glass pane left intact? Hey, can I can I ask what your guys' like plan is? You know, you guys like to like make us try to explain like the in depth details of everything. Well, aspect our plan of our, our plan. plan is to just delay you until Peter Thiel runs out of patience and decides to launch a new gay op. No, I'm not talking about it like, you know, like uh, against us. Uh, I'm talking about like, you know, to, to make uh, America epic again. Or, you know, America was fuck. never epic. Okay, to, to do, fucking do this, to do your do end goals. To, to yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you brought up epic. Would you like me to read a short little passage about being epic? Yeah, I would. Here we go. A small network of technical. Oh no, he's got to leave. He's got to go to the bathroom. A small network of technical per personnel let backs Zimmerman and his work, and together they bridge three platforms of critical importance to the fringe and pro-Trump far right. Ep Infowars, Epic, a web hosting company popular amongst the extreme right, and Nick Fuentes' America First Show, a nightly live stream featuring commentary from the 23-year-old attendee of the 2017 Unite the Right rally. Zimmerman himself appears to straddle the three groups. His account on the messaging services Keybase suggests that he serves as part of Nick Fuentes' America First development team. He also joined Epic, the company from which he bought the domain, as the director of enterprise systems sometime back in March 2021, according to his LinkedIn account and a bio he used in Twitter. Jones made an oblique reference to a partnership between Infowars and Epic on an April broadcast of his show. We wouldn't be around if it weren't for Epic, Jones said. They all have the services you need and they're expanding. And I can tell you, they've also headhunted some of our crew over there. They're such big fans. Okay. Yeah, by the way, uh, I just want to respond to the comments. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like what? Okay, like and. what? <laughs> Hello, and man. what indeed? What indeed? You locked up in great, fear. Man. You locked up in fear when I first mentioned it. Then you denied that you knew who he was. I didn't lock up in and fear. I, I have no Michael idea what the fuck Zimmerman you're talking about. Said, man. It's like a bunch of fucking like paranoid, schizophrenic, like. Uh, yeah, oh, see, <laughs> now, oh, now, now, so now so see, so straight so to the personal, straight to the personal, straight to the personal psychoanalyst. Oh yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm, no, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. fucking I'm paranoid, paranoid because it's right yeah. there in black and white <laughs> media that Michael Zimmerman, a fucking deep system kike, runs your fucking sh show. Runs it from yeah, top yeah, to down, and he personally created Cozy TV for you to be <laughs> gatekeeping faggots. So, look. So, why are you gay? Michael Zimmerman works for Epic. Are, Epic are is a, a domain registrar. Do you know what a domain registrar is? Are you a lesbian? Ryan, let him finish. Do you know what a domain why? registrar is? Yeah, so I'm asking a, a question. Do you know what a domain is? registrar is? A domain registrar is? for you, little Nikki, is whatever you're told to do. And what you were told to do was pick up the was listen to Michael Zimmerman and have your fake little gay stream platform. No, a, a domain registrar registers the domain, actually. Now who's now who's fucking reading all fucking articles? What it, that's I'm not like reading GoDaddy, an article. Like GoDaddy.com. They they, they yeah. Nick's like the domain uh, registrar just, uh, registers a domain, and you're like, I'm taking my article. I'm taking my article. That's, that's, that's a domain too name for me. He's got to be reading something. Yeah, look at him. Look at He's got to be cheating. He He's making notes. Little... That's too. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got your little in... wombats making a cacophony of it's noise behind everything you know. Because that's how you've always fucking operated. As so, Nick, Nick speaks, and all your fucking retard sycophants go, woo! Dude. This is so funny. Well, here's the thing. The reason why I came on, number one, I'm, I'm honestly just watching the Wurzel Root stream. And I was like, you know, should I come on? But the thing about that, like, this is just so typical. The thing about the Michael Zimmerman, and I want him to acknowledge this because these people just fucking lie. They just lie and lie. And it's like, you could debunk it a million times. The evidence could be out there, but then they'll just keep saying it and they'll just spam it a million times. Like, and this Dude, is the most disprovable thing. The article, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. The article that he read in the first place is from the SPLC. So that's pretty rich. You know, they're reading an SPL hit piece about me and saying, oh, well, you better answer for this. Like, number one, consider the source. I think that kind of goes without saying. Number two, Michael Zimmerman <laughs> works for Epic. Epic is a domain registrar. Cozy is not without getting into the business structure. Cozy is a hundred percent owned by me. Hundred percent. There is no one else that owns Cozy other than me. I own the trademark. I own the copyright. I own Cozy TV. I own the website. It's all me. We use a domain registrar. The domain registrar is Epic, which Michael Zimmerman works at. I know Michael Zimmerman because I know the people at Infowars, and Zimmerman used to work for them. Uh, also, Zimmerman isn't even Jewish. I mean, that's just like the gayest. They're like, oh, ooh, Cozy is run by a Jew named Zimmerman because the SPLC told me so. It's like, well, okay, the SPLC, not a reliable source. Number two, what it says is that he works at the domain registrar, which is not the owner. The domain registrar registers and reserves a domain name. But the company and the website and the trademark and the IP is all 100% owned by me. That's number two. And then number three, the guy's not even Jewish. I mean, they just throw that in. They're like, oh, and he's because the name Zimmerman. Come on, George Zimmerman was fucking Mexican. We're going to say, oh, well, exactly. his last name is or whatever. The guy worked at Infowars. And, you know, the point being is like, why does anybody listen Jewish. to these people? I think it's either people are either ignorant or it's just malicious. And it's either malicious because it's, you know, some personal like resentment or it's, it's paid shilling. I don't know what it is, but this is something that's just like so easy. You know, people read something in the SPLC and they go, oh, Epic's a domain registrar. Zimmerman works there. A Jew secretly owns Cozy. Nick, Nick won't tell you. And it's like, you know, that's just frankly, it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. And then the same thing with Peter Thiel. Is there any evidence that we're getting money from Peter Thiel? I wish we were getting money from Peter Thiel. I wish he's cutting checks like nobody's business super PACs for vance for masters for kent funding a lot, lot of projects and you know without getting into too much detail like i know people that are getting paid by teal i wish we had a billionaire a multi-billionaire sponsor like that but we don't but where does that even come from i mean where does that even come from it's just like it's so frustrating because we're out here Try, and we're trying to put America first. And if you even fucking watch my show, we talk, you know, well, you don't name a Jew. 
We talk about Jewish power. I've been talking about Jewish power for five years. I've been doing this show for five years. And the reason why I started this is because I kept asking Cassie Dillon about why we give Israel so much foreign aid. And that's how it started. But just watch okay, my fucking yeah, but, show. Yeah, but, we okay. talk about you, that. You we talk, talk about, about white identity. Hang on, hang on. I, I got one more no, thing no, to say. You've been doing this for four minutes, dude. I got one more thing to say. Dude, I got one but more you, thing you to still say. team up with people like thing Michelle Malkin. And then you can go. And then Laura Loomer. I got one more thing to say, and then you can go. say things. No, I mean, dude, like, I have one more thing to say. No, And then you can go. What happened to the fucking back and forth, I have one more thing to say. How about and a then good you faith can go ahead, there. okay? Yeah, we can have that, but let me finish my point. There's one He's more thing. Nick isn't going to leave. Nick isn't going to leave. He's just saying that so you can So the last speak thing, the last thing. Will you tell the me last thing is this, and you can go ahead. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. You can go ahead. Just let me finish this one point. And then, and then yeah, you can say your piece, and I'll answer your, your questions. Um, which, frankly, you don't. you haven't really even demonstrated good faith towards me. But, but I, you know, but whatever, we'll have a conversation earlier, for the okay. sake of the audience. Okay. So the last thing is this. Um, and then here's the best part is I'm hated by all the people that you hate. I'm on a federal no fly list. I'm under investigation by the FBI. They seized my money. I got subpoenaed. I'm banned from fucking literally everything. I'm banned from every bank, every payment processor every social media company, everything. I'm harassed by journalists. They write about me in Right Wing Watch and Media Matters, the Atlantic Council, the Huffington Post, Slate, Salon, Zach Patrizzo, Jared Holt. I mean, you name it. And then when, when, when like confronted with that evidence, people go, oh, well, they're only doing that. And it's like five dimensional chess. They're doing that so that they like don't blow his cover. I mean, it's like you just can't win. It's, it's, and the reason why, and this is why I wanted to make that last point, and then you can go ahead. The conclusion is this. You hate me. You resent me for whatever reason. Who knows? And then you work backwards and rationalize it, and there's no winning. There's no explanation because, you know, even when confronted with overwhelming evidence like, you know, gee, this guy's a threat to the system because the system universally hates him. You go, oh, well, that's just because he's secretly working for them and blah, blah, blah. And it, it, well, it's like, so in other words, there's no rational argument that would convince you that I'm not a bad actor. And that's because you've already made up your mind. You, you have this presupposition, again, based on emotions, based on an agenda. I don't know what it is, but, but it's there. And so then everything then that would support me, every, every argument, every rational argument that would support me, you know, you just have to assume is wrong and you have to retcon some gay irrational explanation of, oh, uh, well, why does the FBI investigate him? Oh, they're not really doing it. It's just a trick. Oh, well, he talks about white identity. Oh, well, he's only doing that a little bit so that he tricks people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's, and that's why we don't talk to you people because it's just this, it's just blind resentment, blind, ignorant, bad faith resentment. So anyway, so that's and what I way, dropped in just, here to say. And the just Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.